Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to execute SSIS package from a store procedure and without using the SQL job. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Harish and he asked that can you make a video to execute the SSIS package in a store procedure and without the job setup and with the dynamic database connection. So I thought to make a video on this one. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location I got a file company.csv and I will be importing this data the 1000 records to the SQL server table okay and I have the two instances of the SQL server the SQL server 2019 instance and the database name is the test database and we got the table company table here which is empty as of now okay and then we got another connection and I got another server SQL server 2017 server and the database name is work database and the table name is the company name so both the tables are empty as of now one table exists on SQL Server 2019 instance and another table exists on SQL Server 2017 instance and the database name is also different. So I have created a very basic SSIS package. There is just one data flow task and in the data flow task we are importing the data from a CSV file into the SQL Server table, company table and the data will be imported to the 2019 instance into the test database. Okay, So this is the very basic SSIS package. I am not doing anything else here. So first of all let me just show you like executing the package that when I will execute the package it will import the data 1000 records from the CSV file into the 2019 instance into the test database okay. So I executed the package and it should have inserted 1000 records okay. So 1000 records have been populated to the 2019 instance and if I check the data in the 2017 instance then we don't have any data as of now. So for now let me just truncate this table so now both the tables are empty as of now. So now one of the request was that uh, we need to make the connections dynamic and we need to uh, execute the SSIS package from the store procedure. So if you want to make the connection dynamic then we can use the project parameters here. So there is an option here project.params so I can right click on it and I can click on open and here we can create the two project parameters. The first is the server name and another one is the database name so that we can pass the value of the server name and database name while calling the SSIS package ok. So I can just click new to add a new parameter here. The first parameter I will add is the server name and the data type will be a string here and we need to provide an initial value here. So if you execute this one select at the rate at the rate server name so you can get the server name from here and I can paste this value here. So we have created one parameter here. Now click new to add another parameter for the database. So I created another parameter here. The data type will be a string and the initial value I will provide is test because on the 2019 instance we got the test database. So this is fine now. I can just save this one and now I can open the SSIS package again. And now in the SSIS package I need to make this connection manager dynamic. So I can right click on it, go to the properties, I can click on expressions and then I can click on these three dots. From the property first I will select the server name property and I will assign the server name from the project parameter server name ok and I can click on ok and now I will assign the initial catalog property from the project parameter as database ok and then I can click on ok ok. So now this connection manager is dynamic uh, that server name and database name they are coming from the project parameter. So our SSIS package is good now. So what I need to do I need to deploy this package to the SSIS catalog. So I can right click on the project, I can click on deploy and then I can click next, SSIS and SQL server next. Now inside the server name we need to provide the server name so I can copy the server name from here and I can paste it here. Now I can click browse. So I want to deploy the project to a new folder so I can click new folder here and uh, I can create any folder here. So maybe I can just call it as test project okay the folder name and I can click on ok, click on ok and then you can click next and now you can click deploy. Now I can click close. So the project has been deployed here and I can go back to the SSMS and if I expand this one and if I expand the integration services catalog and then if I expand the SSIS DB and if I right click and I, I can click on refresh here. So you can see a new project test project here and if I expand this one and if I expand the projects so I can see the project that I deployed 
121 how to execute SSIS package from the store procedure. Now if you further expand this one and now if you expand the packages then you can see the package which we actually created. So this is our package name package.dtsx. So now uh, if you want to execute this particular package from the store procedure then I can right click on it and I can click on execute. So these are the two project parameters the server name and the database name. Now if you want that when executing the SSIS package from the store procedure if you want to pass the value of the server name and database name dynamically then what you can do uh, you can for example pass some another server name here like 2017 and here uh, I will pass another database name the work database because I have another database work database on the 2017 instance so I can provide another value here and I can click on ok now what you need to do instead of clicking ok you can click on script so if you click on script then it will generate the execute qu query from here so I can click on cancel now because if you will click on ok then it will start executing it ok so I can click on cancel and now this code has been generated here so if you see here this is one of the parameter like the server name and this is another parameter the database name so now if you see here it will execute the package.dtsx and the folder name is the test project and then the uh, project name is this one so this is the one like 121 how to execute SSIS package from store procedure this is the project name and these are the parameters server name and the database name so if you want to execute this particular code from the store procedure then maybe I can create a store procedure here like create proc execute SSIS package as begin and then end and now what I can do I can click on execute so now this has created a store procedure execute SSIS package and I can just paste it here and I can click exec and the store procedure name so if you want to execute the store procedure then you can execute it like this way and this will call the SSIS package as well so right now if you check here so we don't have any data in the company database on SQL Server 2019 instance and we don't have any data in the 2017 instance as well both the tables are empty but right now the parameters they are pointing to the 2017 instance and to the work database so when I will execute this particular store procedure it will populate the data to the this table so let me just try to execute this code so this will call the SSIS package with the given parameters now if I check the data here so you can find 1000 records here because the parameter values were 2017 instance and the work database so if you want to pass the database name and the server name using the variables then you can easily create two variables here like at the rate server name of type worker 100 and at the rate database okay and of type worker 100 okay and uh, yeah it got 1000 so I can set it to 100 now instead of create proc I can call it like alter proc so now we need to pass the server name and the database name so instead of this value I can pass the server name from here and instead of the hard coded value work I can pass this variable here okay so this is fine alright so there is one change that I need to give the uh, data type as n worker here okay so I can give the data type as n worker so now if I want to call this particular store procedure for the SQL Server 2019 instance and for the test database then I can just pass the parameters here the first parameter is the server name so I can get the server name from here and I can paste it here and the second parameter is the database name so the database name is the test database okay so as of now the company table is empty and if I will execute this particular store procedure which will actually call the SSIS package then it should insert the data to the company table okay so let me execute the this store procedure so the store procedure ran fine and uh, let me check the data now so it inserted 1000 records into the company table okay so here we are calling the SSIS package from the store procedure and we can pass the parameters as well easily from here so I think that's it for today's video and I will maybe share this particular script if you want otherwise uh, it's pretty straightforward that you can just right click on the uh, SSIS package and you can generate the script from there so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.